Right. So how do you then for those for those groups, for those affinity groups, they're they're connected and engaged within within their smaller subsets, but what do you guys do to help ensure that they're still connected and engaged with the larger alumni network um, while still supporting that unique focus that they have within their subcommunity? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, the thing that remains unsaid about all of this is that, you know, having a community and having, having this platform is a lot of work. Um, mm -hmm. But just like I, I tell um, any potential client or peer, et cetera, uh, you're going to get out of this what you put into it. So you're going to have to make it make a uh, peripheral um, investment in order to make this successful. Um, as for us, uh, we, we've assigned, um, we've kind of gone into this with baby steps. Uh, we've assigned this as, a, as an additional duty for um, our staff that supports classes, societies, and affinity groups. Because that support was happening um, before, I would say it was mm -hmm. happening in a reactive way. Uh, you know, grab calls, I need help. Uh, and then we provide the help in a reactive way. Uh, this provides us the ability to be more proactive so we're proactively providing uh, our volunteer leaders to uh, hold their own events. We're able to uh, provide them the ability to curate strong campaigns, and we're also providing them the ability to manage their membership. We're also able to focus our other attentions on, on helping them on the back end of their daily logistics, like, oh, how do I set up a 501c3? Because they have this tool to be able to, to run the logistics of their of their group. Now we can help them do um, other high-level tasks uh, from the staff. So we invest time in training. Uh, we also invest time in retraining our volunteer leaders uh, within the platform. So uh, that is, that's really how we keep our volunteer leaders um, informed. And kind of where I see um, a lot of goodness is whenever we get our volunteer leaders training other volunteers. And we create this uh, self-licking ice cream cone of sorts. Uh, so we're kind of like backing away and letting them drive the train. We've, we've found our influencers and they're able to uh, actually build their own decks and, and present in front of an audience of volunteer leaders. We typically do this at our annual volunteer leaders conference, which happens in uh, August uh, before the uh, school year starts uh, here at West Point. Mm 